And new tonight, the city says an engineer misdiagnosing a load-bearing column as a decorative one might be to blame for this week's partial building collapse in the Bronx. This comes as housing vouchers given out by the Red Cross to those displaced has run out. Let's get right to Fox 5. Stephanie Bertini in Morse Heights with the latest. Steph? Natasha, Teresa, a lot of people are still trying to digest what's happened here as they're grappling with that new information from officials. They're wondering, could this have been avoided? City officials say an error by a state licensed engineer might have been the cause of this collapse. In plans filed with the New York City Department of Buildings in June 2023, officials say the engineer misdiagnosed a load bearing column in the building as decorative. The city has temporarily suspended that engineer's authority to inspect and is seeking to do so permanently. The Department of Buildings Commissioner said in a statement the engineer failed to recognize a clearly structural column as such and he can no longer be out there making assessments of the structural integrity of exterior walls of New York's buildings. We found Jose Alberto Ramirez with some belongings in a suitcase. He says he and his partner are in a hotel now. They were placed by the Red Cross, but the help will soon run out. After Monday, we have to get a place of our own. The Red Cross stepped in to help residents like them with shelter, but as in all emergency situations, the help is temporary. Muy mal. Super. Very bad, super terrible. I don't have an explanation. I can't explain how I feel, says this woman, telling us she and her young children are staying with a friend of hers now. I had their presents for Christmas, she says, reflecting on all she lost and on the fact that maybe this could have been avoided. Officials have said one side of the building is structurally intact and demolition will be partial, but there's still a lot of questions. There's some questions about who's going to be able to go back to the building. Do they want to go back to the building? So these conversations are ongoing. Mayor Adams in a statement said there are over a million buildings across our city, and it is crucial that New Yorkers are safe in every one of those buildings. But when those who are entrusted to keep us safe cut corners and make catastrophic mistakes, we're going to take swift action and hold them accountable. And we've learned the city will be helping those with nowhere to go find a solution for shelter. Teresa, the number, we're hearing more than 150 people are displaced because of this. Back to you. Goodness. All right, Stephanie, thank you.